here. Thanks for joining me again. So today we have a few updates in the creators in, that I've added in my tank and also a little bit of knowledge share. First of all, um, I want to show you that I've got uh, now a small school of, or should I call it shoal? I'm not sure, of about 14 Purple Queen Antheas. I ordered five last week and they're just so pretty. And both my mom and my wife agreed, so I ordered some more. Uh, they're all from reefbeauties.com and um, so the 10 that arrived this week one of them actually uh, perished during the shipment so it was DOA so I added 9 there's a total of 14 although two of them seem to be particularly shy so for the most part I've seen about 12 of them swimming around last week I started culturing baby brine shrimp and I've been feeding them intermittently and um, I just just sold the add-on because you can only culture so much at a time and they eat so much, so much I feed them like four or five times a day so then I also got some freeze-dried cycle peas and next week I have some frozen cycle peas some, um, some frozen planktons coming in just to supplement their diet along with what I regularly feed and also along with that shipment of the 10 purple queen I got a lightning maroon uh, I remember the day when this thing was $800 and right now it's $60 still not cheap but uh, a lot better than $800 so right now you see these two maroon clowns happily swimming together in the new host uh, it wasn't like that when it first arrived so the new guy arrived here Tuesday today is Saturday so that's Tuesday Wednesday Thursday by Friday they started swimming together in the anemone so it took four days for this two to stop fighting for those four days the little lightning maroon clowns actually hiding up here behind the overflow and then finally the lightning um, the lightning maroon clown I don't know why is it such a tongue twister started, started to swim closer and closer towards the anemone first it was like swimming in between that sponge pads and the original guy would go kind of want to bite it and then he would go like really it's really cute to see them interact he would try to go um you know cuddle with it so right now i have them paired up just to note the one with the goat stripe is the original one and it is a he as of right now because the female had just perished not that long ago it's been solitary for the last month so the new added one in theory will be a he and this he will turn into a she in as little as two weeks so we'll see um i will document uh this this pair in the next few days just to see if there's any physical physiological uh, changes that we can we can document oh one thing to mention this climb also came in this week from climania uh, it's climania.ig on instagram uh, John often hosts live sales on Instagram and he's also currently have a booth in River Palooza, California right now. So if you are a climb lover, definitely check him out. That booth, I believe it's 530, 530. So check him out. He's got some beautiful climbs. All of this, actually a couple of this are from him. And then I have that large Teresa back there from him. Oh, and also a medium-sized Teresa came in from Climania this week as well. Uh, I've had one of this for a long time, I lost it, so I needed to get another one that's kind of striped. And then I've turned the water flow off just so I can show you the other climbs I have. So I got this golden Crusea from him this week, and also this blue Maxima from him blue guy and that guy came in a couple weeks ago and John actually gave me this one two three four five clams at no charge for one we're really good buddies and uh, secondly I think people are just really not appreciating them so it's been a few live sales and there are no takers so I'm like hey I'll take them <laughs> you know he's got a upkeep you know with all his he do, he's run out of room he has like thousands of clams and then you know with every clam there's the up, upkeep you have to save some space and they eat up calcium so you know if they're not contributing to his business then you know might as well find someone who can host them 
Uh, lastly, I want to show you guys is um, I have um, I have a Bangay Cardinal that is expecting. It's a he right here. So Bangay Cardinals are kind of like seahorses, where the male would hold the baby, and they're mouth brooders. So currently, he's got babies in his mouth, and I have a feeling that he's going to release them very, very soon because in the wild. Cardinal babies are basically like the miniature version of their adult counterparts. Uh, they, a lot of fish when they first come out, they don't look like the adult version at all, but these guys do. And um, they often take refuge in either an anemone or in a lung spine urchin. I don't have any lung spine urchin right now, but I have this anemone. So it is, um, you know, as I see the the father started to gravitate towards anemone, I think that's a very good sign that he's maybe releasing the young pretty soon. Right now I don't really have a good reliable food source, but I don't know if you guys can see, the wall is full of pots in this tank. Um, there, it helps that there is a sea, seagrass forest. Let me just stop the flow so you can see there is a seagrass forest in this tank. Um, there's a lot of refuge in between the rubbles, so I think um, at least between the pots and all the frozen food and the cyclopeas that I'm ordering, I may be able to sustain, hopefully, fingers crossed, at least a few babies and um, definitely sustain the uh, purple queen antheas that I have in captivity right now. So wish me luck everyone and uh, feel free to comment, reach out to me with any comments or suggestions, love to hear from you. Thank you again for joining me and I will talk to you soon.